In the summer 21 release, Salesforce Order Management will deliver a return merchandise authorization workflow UI and APIs. This is sometimes referred to as an RMA. Salesforce will also release a pre-built module within the existing Commerce Cloud SFRA reference storefront that integrates directly with Salesforce Order Management. This will provide Commerce Cloud shoppers the ability to view real-time order information powered by Salesforce Order Management, including their order history, order status, and order details. Our new RMA-style returns will provide customers with visibility into the life cycle of an item being returned by a shopper. From the time the return is initiated to when the returned item reaches the warehouse through the processing of a refund, service agents will now be able to initiate an RMA return through a pre-built UI workflow and order management. And our new RMA APIs can integrate with warehouse solutions to process the returns when the items are received at the warehouse. Now let's meet Carl. Carl is a commerce operations specialist at Alpine Nutrition. Carl lives and breathes incoming and outgoing inventory returns, and the overall health of Alpine's online business. Carl is excited that in our new summer release, he can take advantage of the new Return Merchandise Authorization UI workflow, which gives Carl more flexibility in determining how returns are processed. In order management calculates and tracks all the financial implications of the RMA return. The order summary and line items are all updated to reflect the return. A credit memo is generated when the return is completed, and a refund is issued. Let's see all of this in action at our favorite local nutrition shop, Alpine Nutrition. Let's take a look at how one of Carl's loyal shoppers, Jess, can service her orders. Alpine Nutrition now uses the new SFRA order management self-service module in their storefront. This means Alpine's customers can check their order history, their order status, and order details within seconds right on their mobile device, tablet, or desktop. Jess is browsing her order history on the storefront and needs to make some changes on the recent orders. First, Jess decides she doesn't want the Alpine green tea drinks that she had ordered. Now, right from the storefront, Jess is able to cancel her order that has not yet been fulfilled. After canceling her most recent order, Jess needs to determine how she can return the energy bars, which were received damaged. Jess initiates a chat with Alpine Nutrition's customer service. She is immediately prompted with options like, where is my order? And speak with a live agent. Jess selects live agent and is immediately greeted by Lucia, the Alpine Nutrition service agent. Jess communicates that she'd like to initiate a return for her energy bars because they were received damaged. Let's now switch to see what Lucia, the service agent, sees when helping Jess initiate her return. We immediately see in Actions and Recommendations an option to initiate an RMA return. Lucia selects RMA return and launches into the new RMA workflow. Because RMAs are built using Salesforce Flow, customers have complete control to customize and configure the RMA return based on their business processes. For example, a customer could add an approval step in the flow a call out to a shipping provider to send a return label, or customize when the refund is issued. Lucia selects this option and sees the items on the order that are eligible to return and selects the energy bar as well as the reason for the return. On the previous screen, Lucia is able to tell Jess what the amount of her refund will be once the items are received and the refund is processed. All of these updates will be reflected on the order summary and order management. And just like that, Jess had a great service experience returning her order. The return process has now been set to initiate it automatically and will be fully refunded as soon as the package arrives back at the distribution center. Carl knows exactly where the package is and can choose at what point within the return workflow that he'd like to complete the return and refund his customers. This is just one way Carl is delivering amazing commerce and service experiences and driving loyalty with his customers with Salesforce order management. Way to go, Carl.